In this video, I'll show you how to add WhatsApp button on Facebook page. Also, I bet that you will also need to see how to change WhatsApp number in Facebook ad or how to add more than one WhatsApp number to your Facebook ad account. Even if you're currently not running Facebook ad, you will need it one of these days. So since it's also a very easy and short process, I've decided to show you both ways and both steps instead of creating a different video on how to change WhatsApp number in Facebook ad. So now there are a couple of ways to add WhatsApp to your Facebook page, but I'll be showing you the easiest of them all and we should be true in just about 30 seconds to one minute. So let's quickly get to work and let me show you how. Alright, so here I am in my normal Facebook profile. So if you log into Facebook, it should, um, it should take you straight to your normal Facebook profile or your account. So what you want to do, of course, you want to go to the page that you want to add your, um, your WhatsApp number. So all you want to do is to come to this profile icon here on your page. And if you're also using a mobile phone, you can also follow. It's just about the same process. So I'm going to scroll, uh, I'm going to click on the drop down arrow and you can see here that I have quite a number of uh, pages. So if I click on this your profile, you're going to see more pages that I have either as an admin or the one that I created myself. So what you want to do here is that you want to pick out the Facebook page that you want to add your WhatsApp number to. So I'm going to click on this one and then Facebook is going to take me to this new page. So I'm now interacting on my Facebook page and not just the normal profile again. Once I'm here, I'm going to come to this place again and then I'm going to click on that particular Facebook page. This is it here. So let's click on that. Okay, so now I'm interacting from the page proper now and not just from my normal profile um, account. So what I want to do here, like I said, there are quite a number of ways that you can try to set up your WhatsApp on your new Facebook page. But like I said, I'm going to show you the easiest way. So what you want to do is that you just want to come to these settings here and click on that. Okay, so it's going to bring you to this point here. So what you want to do here, you just want to come to this search settings here and then you're going to just type in whatsapp and i'm going to enter it okay so you can see here whatsapp here so i'm going to just come here and click on whatsapp so it's going to bring me here so as you can see here it's telling me that i already have three whatsapp numbers connected to this particular facebook page so if i view this i'll be able to see all the whatsapp contact you can see them these are three of them and then you can see this is my primary number and these are the other secondary numbers that I have here. So I can remove if I want to remove here. Okay, so if I want to connect another number, all I need to do is just to come to this connect another number here. Okay, so if I click on that, you can see here it's going to bring me to this point. So here I'm going to click my country code and here I'm just going to come here and add up the number that I want to add to my WhatsApp contact. And then once I do that, I'm going to click on send code. Okay, once I click on send code, you will check your WhatsApp number and be sure that um, you have your, you will check your WhatsApp number and in just about a few seconds, Facebook would have sent a, I think a six digit code to you. All right, so I'm just going to, for demonstration's sake, I'm going to take this off, then I'm going to type in a new number. And like I used to advise, if possible, you want to make sure that this number is a business WhatsApp number. I mean, it's a business WhatsApp number that Facebook usually recognize, you know, so make sure that it's a business WhatsApp number. And once you do that, um, you're going to say set my page primary WhatsApp number. If you want this to be your primary WhatsApp number, that means that would be the number that um, people are going to be using to contact you directly. Maybe if you're running an ad or a promotion or something, you're going to just toggle this on. But if you don't want it to be your primary number, you just toggle it off. I don't want this to be my primary number, so I'm going to toggle this off. And once I do that, I'm going to click on send code and then I'm going to check my WhatsApp, my business WhatsApp, and I'm sure that the code would have been sent to me. Okay, so I've seen the code here. It's a six digit code. So I'm going to just come in here and then I'm going to add the code in here. Okay, so it's a, sorry, it's a five digit code. So you can see, and I'm going to click on confirm. 
all right so let's check it up okay so this is the new number that i have just added now it has been added it's that simple like i said if i want to make this number my primary whatsapp number all i need to do is just to click on set as primary and then it's going to be set as my primary number and then that's the number that people are going to be using to interact with me when they come to this particular page so this is how easy it is for you to set up um to add up your whatsapp number in your facebook business page so like i said uh, let me quickly show you how to add whatsapp number to your ad accounts okay sometimes you might want to add a different you know number to your whatsapp ad account um there could be different reasons why you want to do so for me there was a time i had to change it and the reason was because i wanted one of my admins one of my staff to be the one managing my the particular ad campaign that I was running and I didn't want people to be getting on to me because I was busy at that time. So I made sure that the person will be the one answering all the inquiries and, you know, talking to my customers. So I had to request for his number and then I added it on my um, Facebook ad account, you know, managers. So let's quickly go there and let me show you how to do that. So all you want to do is that you want to come here and type in business.facebook.com. Okay, so I'm going to come to this all tools here and I'm going to look for, let's wait for it to load, ad manager. Okay, so I want to come here and look for the particular ad account that I want to change the business um, WhatsApp. So I'm going to come here, I'm going to search for more and I'm going to come to, I'm going to locate the particular ad account. This is the ad account. I'm going to click on that. Okay, so once I'm here, I'm going to come down here and I'm going to search for campaign. I'm going to click on campaign. Okay, so once I'm here, there are two ways to go about this. I can either effect this change from one of my hard campaign that is already running, or I can just decide to create a new hard campaign. The truth of the matter is that once you do it, either from creating a new campaign or from using an existing campaign, it's going to effect in all your campaigns on that ad manager. So at the end of the day, it's going to be the same thing. But what you want to be sure of is that anytime you want to do it from any of your already running campaign it has of course it has to be a campaign that is um for you know messaging campaign okay if it's not a messaging campaign maybe you are choosing website or page likes or all of those ones it's not going to work but you want to make sure that it's a messaging campaign so let me just come to create new okay i'll just come to sales i'm going to continue manual setting i'm going to continue we don't need all of this is just for demonstration's sake okay so as a matter of fact where we want to do this change is at the ad set level so i'm going to just click on the ad set level okay so this is what i'm saying here so for your conversion you want to make sure that you're choosing messaging apps okay messaging apps that's where you'll be able to see um, both your messenger and your whatsapp you know settings so once you click on messaging app you want to just scroll all the way down here so as you can see here this is um your messenger this is instagram and then this is your whatsapp so what you want to do here is just to come here and click on connect another number okay so here is it so you're just going to come in here and then type in the number that you want to add now make sure that it's a business whatsapp like i said earlier on okay and then go through the process of you know um getting your code from whatsapp and then coming here to add it just like the way we did initially that is how it's going to happen for you here also just make sure that it's a business whatsapp you're connecting and if you're doing this make sure that you are using a new campaign if you want to do this change from your existing campaign that's already running then you have to create a new ad set because once an ad is already running you'll not be able to change your placement on that ad again Okay, so that's the reason why I think it's always better for you to just come to a new campaign like I've done here and then you can effect your change. So this is easy. This is how to either add or change your WhatsApp in your Facebook ad account or if you want to change or add a new WhatsApp to your Facebook business page. So please, if you enjoy this video, please give it a like and please help me share it on your social media and so that people who need information like this can get to see them. Also, if you want to see more digital marketing and AI videos like this one, then make sure you subscribe to this channel and turn on the alert bell so YouTube can notify you when I release my next video. Thank you and I'll see you in the next one.